So for those of you who don't know me very well, I love doing everything in the evening. I don't know why. Once the sun starts to set, then I get all crafty. So I'm using my Benjamin Moore Million Dollar Red. My favorite red from them. And I have here a piece. I just made two lines. I spray painted it a bit, sanded it a bit, but <clears throat> do you guys have any of these at home? Well, this was actually um, a paint set. Oops, I'm holding it upside down. Okay, so this was actually a little paint set. It came with all the acrylic paint tubes, the oil paint tubes, and the watercolor paint tubes. This opens up like this, and there was more products underneath. So I ripped everything out, um, gave it a very, very light sanding, and just spray painted all in black so it all be uniform. Actually, if you want to get a really good red out, you shouldn't paint the red directly onto the um, medium or whatever it is that you're painting on. Um, it's better off if uh, you paint the surface in black and then after you can apply your colors. And they're gonna be a lot more vibrant and a lot more realistic. So I'm gonna paint this one up and uh, I'll tell you what it's gonna be used for later. All right? Got my lace out, just a strip that I buy from Fabricville. Just go to the liquidation um, section. It's usually like a dollar to a yard. And I've got the inside of my box that's roughly painted in red from Benjamin Moore. It's called Million Dollar Red. I had already applied a base in black matte so that everything is uniform in color. And also because colors really stand out when you paint them against a black surface. And what I will do with my lace is I'm going to place it right on top and I'm going to spray paint on top of it. It's going to give it the illusion that there is a lace texture on it. Um, give it more of that vintage romantic look. And it's going to look hot. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how that's going to look. <laughs> 